Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your August 24th, 6 p.m. hurricane and weather update. And are um, you guys ready to talk about the next hurricane that should be coming about a week from now? This is the Euro. It would be about 10 days out. This is the CMC. Same looking system about 10 days out. Hey, let's get back to Laura. We can get to that later. Shout out to Cranky for pointing it out to me a couple of days before it started showing up on the models. I am a Houstonian, and so I'm definitely looking out for this, and I'm telling all other Houstonians and technically anyone down in South Texas, all the way up through Texas, through Louisiana, to stay on alert. And BAM Weather says all 12Z model tracks via Rally Weather shows that Houston should most certainly Stay on high alert for a potential major hurricane, Laura. There is no reason to ignore the further west risk. And so we are now still in a weird cone, somehow stretching between the heel of Louisiana and down into Texas, just south of Houston. And Laura will have potential to become at least a Category 3 hurricane because once it gets past land interaction, it will have a clear sailing point, almost no wind shear, and the water levels are super hot. This is Jack Sillen, who's always chilling and talking about cool weather stuff for the fourth time in three days. Lauda is interacting with land this evening and has a strong mid-level center located at the northern edge of a persistent band of deep convection just south of the center. In each other instance, this interaction produced a west-southwest shift in track. Okay, now here's a caveat. Last year, during the 2019 hurricane season, it seemed like we didn't get hit by any hurricanes because some magical force, asterisk, would separate the low pressure from the convection, which usually prevented these hurricanes from developing it into anything major. And so we have seen variations of that this year. And so there may be teams out there playing defense, whether it be atmospheric defense, Prairie Warriors, Astro Fight Club. So uh, that's just a point I'm pointing out. I would definitely not bet your life on that, your friend's life, your family, or your pet's life on that. So look at this thing. This is a beast. And every time they do zap it, it gets back to order in pretty quick fashion. So this is a scary looking mofo, man. And so people be prepared. And if you're definitely along the coast, I would not want to be there for category three or higher because it is 2020. Um, but I'm in Houston. I'll be about 30 miles north of the coast. And so uh, unless some white knight superhero lady comes to save me and sweep me away to safety, I guess I'll be here live reporting it for y'all. But hey, miracles are always possible. And I am dang awesome and sometimes charming, plus hilarious. This is not about me. This is about this storm that is going to bring hellacious tons of rain parts of Louisiana and Texas exactly where and the exact amounts we don't know now the atmospheric defense team seemed to do a great job with Marco Polo separating the love from the convection which knocked it down to a tropical storm that just brought a bunch of heavy showers and nobody died but there's something about Laura she just got that look and she has the entire open gulf so we are going to prepare prepare for the worst and the worst in 2020 would be a cat five and pray for the best which would just be like some junk tropical storm which would bring heavy rain in texas which i'm pretty sure all texans would take right now i'm a texan we love the rain and especially the lightning and thunder now the hurricane isn't the only thing we're watching we have a clear and present danger today as we have an enhanced 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 area of severe weather which means tornadoes hail and possible straight line winds and it extends for a record size portion of stuff in the northeast and then you got an angry jelly bean boomerang over here in the west I'm sorry, I showed you tomorrow's map. This is today's map with you got some spin ups down associated with Marco. And then we're looking at Minnesota and Wisconsin for possible severe weather. And then tomorrow's the bad day. Yep. And then the day after tomorrow, that portion shifts to the west. And so these states, there you go. Some models show Laura going deep into the southwest of Texas, which would give it more time to intensify over a rapid intensify over very hot water with no wind shear but 
da da boo the florida wave master has this pin the tail on donkey theory which i don't fully understand but i'm thinking this part right here at some point it'll just kind of get magically tugged along and would, I, if i had to guess right now i'd guess right about here's where it would land but at this point nobody knows and we are still probably two days from landfall yeah i don't know man it seems pretty big to me and so if it does wrap up and put the low under the convection it could definitely be a major hurricane and i'm not the only one saying this although i've been saying it for two weeks everybody else is saying it now we could definitely have a major hurricane on our hands and then remember we probably have another hurricane in about a week this is a marathon not a sprint and we've got about 10 to 12 weeks left of this crap all right now we're looking at the models this is a gfs this has it as a heavy category three on the heel of louisiana what time i forgot to look at the date thursday this has it making landfall on tuesday this is the gfs parallel as 966 still a very heavy category two or category three hurricane and that would be landing tomorrow night uh that seems fast this would be on wednesday it's so weird we have a range on how fast this thing will travel from anywhere from tuesday which is tomorrow to thursday which is well you know how to add up days and stuff i would imagine all right so this would make it just a tropical storm the nav gem takes it into texas 987 which would be a strong category one this would also be thursday but like i said if it farther goes to west in texas the more chance it has to develop the icon on thursday has it 968 which would make it a strong category two or a category three and then the euro has it going straight up into boom into there and then like i said we have signs on multiple models of the next potential hurricane that may threaten the east coast all right so it can land anywhere from tuesday to late thursday and it could be anywhere from a super junky tropical storm to category five or more people will say category three hurricane that would threaten anywhere from down here to over here so that's 2020 it's like a box of alien chocolates you never know what you're gonna get and that alien chocolate could kill you if you're not safe so definitely don't don't eat the alien chocolate would be my suggestion and shout out to billy selena and amelia sometimes when i work so hard and there's a lot of pressure and lives are on the line i have to think of beautiful women with great voices to calm myself down i think they used to call them muses but i don't know there's like what is it spooky action jackson quantum physics blowback to where if you have too much romantic thoughts then it kicks you in the nuts or some shit was it talking about crap and i try not to cuss so the kid, this could be a family episode but man seriously your kid should be able to say the s word in 2020 i mean what is he gonna say poop that, you know that sounds silly if, if, uh i didn't mean to defecate all over this verbiage and the science now you probably don't think i'm very sciencey dang it my reputation has been wounded but that looks like a lot of precipitable water and so we're going to have a lot of heavy water. Remember, this is a marathon, a wet marathon, a windy marathon, a dangerous marathon, not a sprint. And you've got like all of the West Coast on fire. You just had a 5.3 earthquake in Mexico. Um, volcanoes are happening in Guatemala and Mexico. This is Costa Rica, 5.3 Costa Rica. What did I say? Uh, I guess shout out to listen to the stars too. All right. Everybody stay cool. And I will continue my comprehensive coverage of this thing, which technically started like seven weeks ago. And we were focusing on the 24th due to the Pluto, Mars, Saturn, Square, Eris, Conjunction, and Capricorn. And so, yeah, we have a dangerous situation happening, just like I thought. And so stay cool, play great defense. And, um, we will make it to this live and we will kick off the roaring 20s probably in 2022 when the plague ends and then uh have the time of our lives kick ass god bless everyone stay cool may the force be with you always and let's live long and prosper together and hit the button baby and that and i mean that to billy selena and amelia <laughs>